Hello everyone and welcome to this, the final part of the Panther Chassis Variant series, or Chariot series. Um, unless you've been watching this out of order, or YouTube has uh, just shown you them in the wrong order on your uh, subscription feed. It's a bit random how it can appear sometimes. But this is the uh, chronological third of the uh, Panthers uh, that I'm doing in the videos. This is the 12K2. Uh, apparently this was developed sort of in conjunction alongside the 10K2, well, I'm not quite sure uh, what year specifically, but this debuted in the 3070s, so we are pushing it a bit compared to the actual timeline of MWO, which is around about 3067. But it's not too far out, it doesn't use any, you know, any tech that's uh, not in the game. It's got single MRM10 and goes back to the ERPPC of the normal 10k. Outside of that, completely maxes out the armor, uses double heat sinks, and that's pretty much it. Whatever engine you want to stick in it, and uh, whatever other equipment you want, light ferro, ferro, that kind of thing, a light fusion engine. Uh, the the weapon setup is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. It's the one I picked here because uh, it's an MRM system. I don't really have many mechs that utilize that, so I'll probably keep this one just because, yeah, default MRM mechs are few and far between in uh, MWO, though obviously there are plenty of later variants that do use them. And the MRM system is something that's uh, developed by the Combine. It's one of the sort of key weapon systems going forward uh, when they start to develop a newer sort of tech based on captured clan stuff. Uh, the MRMs uh, were an interesting weapon uh, that was created uh, sort of post uh, clan invasion. In the in terms of tabletop it was, it's kind of a, a weird weapon really, the medium range missile, uh, I don't know. It seems a bit laughable. In MWO MRMs are great, in tabletop they're okay, they're not they're not essential as far as weapons go. SRMs and LRMs still work just as well on tabletop, but yeah, MRMs in MWO are a fantastic weapon system. We've seen some great builds that utilize them. Things like the MRM 60 Quick Draw, for instance, uh, can just pile on damage for very little heat and a hell of a lot of ammunition per ton. You don't need a lot uh, to keep firing a single MRM-10 on a Panther, which means you can utilize uh, different weapon systems uh, outside of the PPC. And even with this build, you don't have to worry about overheating anytime soon. So yeah, it's a, it's a good, again, a good sort of long to mid-range brawling mech. It can do uh, a lot of harassment fire, not necessarily pick up kills, I have to admit. Uh, ever since the 10k2 video, you'll notice that there is a, a solid drop-off in uh, overall damage because two SRM4s and a PPC do a hell of a lot more damage than ER Large Pulse and Streak 4 and then less again when you get down to two weapon systems again. But uh, it's one of those sort of balances of damage over heat generation and the 10k2 is the hottest but gives you more damage with the high potential of overheating whereas this mech allows you to stay mobile and uh, keep hitting targets and moving around. That's what I did a lot in this match, just a lot of running around, although bear in mind I am using an XL engine on this version so I didn't bother switching it up, I was happy with the speed. But uh, it can very quickly uh, devolve into you losing a side torso, and that almost happens to me here, because yeah, there we go, that's where I lose my uh, rear armour on one of my side torsos. And that's where I could have been popped any moment by someone who's just got a nice uh, alpha strike there, or just a lot of energy that could sort of paint that part of the mech. But luckily for me, it didn't happen. But uh, yeah, when you get close up, you get into a brawling situation and you're with heavier units that are focusing fire, you can really pile on, you can tear pieces off bigger mechs. Um, one of the things I noticed with players is players will tend to, f if, if there's a brawl going on, players in bigger mechs will tend to focus other bigger mechs, especially if they lock you and they see that you've only got two weapons and they say lock a Cyclops that's got multiple ballistics. They're going to focus in, which is great for you because you don't have to move around as much and you can just keep sort of accurately dropping damage into them and uh, I think that's that's what kills a lot of assault and heavy players is they forget that the lighter target sometimes is the thing that's actually going to kill them uh, not the big guy because the, the big guy's going to be overheating quicker whereas the little fella is the one who's just going to be taking his time doing that pinpoint damage uh, shot after shot after shot and of course near the end of the round because the fight's pretty much wrapped up at this point there's a commando, and we've we've seen, if you've been on the streams with me on Fridays, you've seen how resilient these little buggers are. I mean, Davros is a, uh, a proponent of these. Uh, uh, the commandos are incredibly powerful uh, for their weight. They have really good hitboxes, surprisingly good, res very resistant to uh, virtually any type of damage. I mean, short of uh, direct hits from long-term artillery, I mean, there's not much that will knock out a commando in one shot, from what I can tell. 
uh, especially in MWO apparently, because these things are just tank hits. And uh, that, that's why you've just got the hilarity of me now stood on the hill trying to snipe on for PPC, because, as I said, my side tour, so I don't want to get popped by a, a 4 ER medium laser commando. But yeah, overall, I've really enjoyed all these Panther variants. Uh, it was fun to have a look at what else is available. It's It was kind of refreshing that, that I could build a number of them in MWO. And uh, as I said in the last couple of videos, these are all easy, cheap to make, built on one chassis. You just need the standard 10K that you can buy in the store. Uh, for a few million C bills, and yeah, you can try them out yourself if you're inclined. If you haven't had, a, haven't had a go of a Panther, do try it out. It's a good mech. It's you know, it's not going to have as many weapon systems as your Piranhas and uh, Locusts and other light mechs out there, but it's tanky. It's got some heavy firepower options for you, and yeah, it's still got jump jets. So you can still get good speed out of it. So yeah, if you haven't tried it, give it a go. And with that, I'll uh, leave you for another week of the uh, of the glorious. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll see you all. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.